roll it down, roll it down, roll it, you know, hey, I saw your burner page, do you know such and so, <laughs> oh yeah, that's how I know you, and then have like a window conversation, <laughs> even more awkward. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies, look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, today we got the Fancy Frank's little ballpark crave. The Juicy Jumbo is all beauty. Look at these guys, beauty. I'm gonna put that Area 51 sauce, that secret CIA shit on there. And then I've got this leftover little bit of uh, Coney sauce that I whipped up. You guys know I whip up my own Coney. We got brand new fresh buns. We got the best fries ever, the flavor crisp from Cavendish. And we're gonna coney fry these up and then we're gonna cheese and sauce and crispy onions these dogs. A classic crave. All right, so pan on super low. Tiny bit of oil coat for the bottom. Roll your doggies around. Get them a nice little film of oil all around. And then we're just gonna slowly bring these up, roll them around in the pan and get them just kissed brown, kissed golden brown. And the secret is you never let them sit in the heat in one spot for too long. You always got to keep them rolling and in motion kind of every, you know, 10, 15 seconds. It's like the, uh, the roller wheels at the 7-Eleven, you know? That's why they're on those rollers, so they never have time to sit and burn on one side. That's the key to pan frying a good wing. Alright, a little bit of oil on these brand new softy bones. Just dab out the interior. And off to thy pan. Perfect little toasty toast. Bring in the cheese, one slice sliced in half, dog in center to melt. Repeat the process on the other side. Bring them together. Come in with that secret goop, that secret sauce with the bacon in it. The one ingredient I told y'all about. <laughs> the crispy, always crispy Owen around here. All right, we got these suckers plated. Time to build ourselves. A little coney fries. All right, tinkle, tinkle, little star in the background. We got my ice maker just making a ruckus. Got this bowl making a ruckus. <laughs> Hit it with the catchies. And the fresh diced white onion. There we go, a simple crave, a delicious little doggy fries plate for a king, you know? That's what I'm saying. I know how good this is gonna be. I really do know how good this is gonna be. So let's get into it. All right, yo, what up? Back in the beanie, back in the stew, back in for you. <laughs> this is a meal that I am jazzed for. Two guns for sure all day. I can't wait to get into this. I'm so excited for this food. Um, and yeah, I just know that if I ever had the chance to uh, sling these treats, my life might be different, <laughs> but uh, maybe one day down the road when something works out very positive for me for once in my life. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Everything's fine. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Life's good. I uh, need to count my blessings because I have food in front of me, which most people don't. Okay, so I can't wait to eat this. That bun is silly soft with that little toast. The cheese is all cheesed out crispy onions it's so hard to eat over this plate <laughs> and I hate moving all everything out of the way but I kind of got it mm. 
perfect. The all beef doggy. They're really the best. I'm gonna have him. Just uh, it's uh, hitting my crave spot so hard. Mm. How is it that we know that hot dogs are technically the worst, but oh, so the best? All right, these coney fries. You know what? I was gonna try to do it like finger licking good. Okay, my buddy in the back acting up again. But I think I'm just gonna have to rock the old the old fork for this. My favorite fries. This is the last little bit of, uh, I had a frozen batch of Coney. My last little bit. Been waiting on the right time to use it. Mm. And now was the perfect time. All right. I have some Seinfeld-ish Larry David shit to talk about real quick. Have you guys ever been like acquaintances? Not even acquaintances. Like you know a bunch of people that this person you know of knows but you've never met that person through these people really, but you definitely know of each other, but you've never really met. Well, that happened to me with this guy just now, but also like a month back in the same spot, post office at the drugstore. And he's a bit of a local ledge around here. Like he's known in the in the in the city quite well. He's in the creative field, videographer, photographer. He's done a lot. Of, like he's just he's out in the community a lot hyping up the community kind of thing. And uh, he definitely knows who I am. I definitely know who he is. Through mutual friends, through like snowboarding and shit back in the day, but we've never, I've never talked to him. But we're standing in line the first time a month ago at the post office and I'm like, do I say anything? Like, do I be the one to spark up the semi-awkward conversation? Leading to a 
probably decent conversation. Or do I not? So I didn't. And then immediately after, I went and looked up like his page and shit on Instagram and he has this one page dedicated to like burger reviews. So I binged his burger page. And it's a lot of local burgers, but it's also like when he travels for work, places in Canada usually, he'll get burgers in like Vancouver or Toronto or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, so we're both, you know, food whores, burger whores. That's definitely a connection point. So literally 30 minutes ago, I walked in the same drugstore and he was on his way out with a package that he obviously just picked up. And uh, we were coming at each other and there's some obstructions in the aisle and I did like the old kind of matrix, like kind of matrix to like let him by. And like we go to each other and it's like clearly he knows who I am and I know who he is. I was gonna be like, yo, your burger page, what's up? Like, and but he was, he was on the move. So I was like, ah, maybe not. So I didn't. And then I just quickly grabbed the one thing that I need, needed, needed. And then we were parked beside each other. He was already in his car and I, I was gonna maybe do like the, roll it down, roll it down, roll it, you know? Hey, I saw your burger page. Do you know such and so? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's how I know you. And then have like a window conversation, <laughs> even more awkward. So I never know what to do. I never know if I should just leave it alone or be the guy to engage. That's twice now that he hasn't engaged, or me. And if I wonder if we're both having the same thought, maybe. He's like, I could talk to him, but then it's like, really, what's the point? And it's like, are we gonna come, are we gonna? become friends and hang out all of a sudden randomly or is this just going to be some uh, random acquaintance that I'm going to see in public that I'm going to feel obligated to talk to and say hi to and have small talk with and if I can avoid that at all costs if that's going to be the case then I may as well not engage at all this is how neurotic I am Like I said, Larry David Seinfeld shit. You literally think of every angle of as to why or why not you may engage in this possible meeting or not. She was perfect. These doggos. So, ever happened to you? Are you weird like me? 
Do you think about shit like that too much? Or do you just say hi, like, what's up? I just chronically overthink about things like that. <laughs> Uh, an absolutely perfect meal in my books. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. <laughs> Stay true.